Fun fact about the Super Mario Bros, we all know that Mario is a plumber, but this wasn't always the case. When he first started out, he was a circus worker. This is why he's always been so good at jumping over barrels and fire. Did you know? Mario wasn't always our hero's name. Back in the early arcade days, he was known simply as Donkey Kong. It was due to a mistaken localization where the Switch happened. As for our gorilla friend, he was named after Nintendo's landlord, a certain Michael Novak. The name was soon to be forgotten though, as Mario just sounded more apish. You may have heard that Mario's iconic overalls and mustache were due to technical limitations, but this just isn't so. Actually, Shiki Shiki Mayomo, Mario's creator, grew up his entire life seeing people wearing overalls and sporting mustaches, and he just believed that was simply the way of the world. Moving on to the NES era, we see that these bushes look strikingly similar to the clouds. Coincidence? Well, sorta. Super Mario Bros. had two art directors, Kuraudo Man and Bushino Itoko, who were in charge of different aspects, such as clouds and bushes respectively. When they showed each other their work, they saw how similar they were and had a good laugh. The similarity was kept in as an inside joke. In a now infamous glitch in World 3-3, you can jump past the flagpole and be stuck in an infinite loop of castle, doomed to be killed by the timer. That is, unless you hack the game and turn off the timer, in which case you'd be stuck running until you turn the game off. Or would you? Recently, a young man has devoted his entire life to see if anything has passed there, and after running for over 20 years, he has finally discovered something. A solitary truck. He now believes that if he uses strength on the truck, Mew the Pokemon will fly out, but that's a topic for another episode. Mario tripping on mushrooms is now a very old and stale joke, but it's not without its roots. You see this guy? This is a real mushroom in the real world, and if you eat it, you will really gain twice your height. Really? Here's an interesting one. Yoshi the Dinosaur was supposed to be in the very first Mario game. He would appear as a secret New Game Plus Plus Super Final Boss at the end of World 9 Star Star Star. He had to be cut out due to technical limitations. Many believe that if you die in Super Mario Bros, then that's it. Game over. But there's actually a hidden continue code. If you enter the following on the title screen, you can start right where you died. It goes up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. This code was implemented in many other Nintendo games and is commonly referred to as the Nintendo code. We're all familiar with this very <clears throat> interesting character, and the idea has been tossed around that this character is transgender. If this were true, Birdo would be the first transgender in gaming. But sadly, since Birdo is confirmed to be Moon Man, this simply isn't true. Shiggy Shiggy Maimu has confirmed that all Super Mario Bros. 3 is actually a prediction of World War 3! Airships! Moles with wrenches! Turtles with wings! Gross weird little brown things that live in boots! They're all coming! Shiggy knows! Shiggy knows! A certain enemy in Super Mario Bros. 3, the Chain Chomp, comes directly from a traumatic experience Shiggy Shiggy had as a kid. He was there in a scientist's lab where they engineered the very first real-life Pac-Man. It proceeded to chomp and chew away at everything and everyone in sight until it was stained black. It was locked away for further research. Miami has never been the same since. A familiar series of bosses from the Mario franchise would be the Koopalings. Funnily enough, they are all named after different characters from various other franchises. Some examples of this would be Roy, named after the Super Smash Bros. Roy, Larry, after the Stooge, and Wendy, after the restaurant. Who would have thought? Many believe this piece of garbage should be the first ever Hollywood movie to be based off a video game. But there you'd be wrong. You see, Adventure for the Atari gets that honor in the movie Labyrinth. You may be surprised to hear that Mayameh thought that the movie was such a flop because it was just too darn similar to the games. He thought it should have been more like Labyrinth. Let's talk about dolphins. Now you may believe you've heard this one before, but not so! In the Japanese version of Super Mario World, Yoshi could eat the dolphins. In the American version, Yoshi couldn't eat the dolphins. But in the Canadian version, Yoshi would sit down with the dolphins and eat pancakes and syrup with them. It's a different culture, man. In Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo, there was a super interesting detail that was left out by the Super Localization Squad. In the Japanese version of the game, you can see Peach and Bowser falling in love with a little green bottle. Perhaps the bottles are shiny and so they can see their own reflections and are just very in love with themselves? The world may never know. Moving out of the 16-bit era, we've got Mario Party. More like Blister Party! Very little known fact here. Nintendo specifically designed this game for just such a purpose and are probably back home laughing about it over Saki. Many players were confused by the masked Il Pantissimo in Super Mario Sunshine, as you never got to see what was under the hood. But through game hacking devices, we were able to see once and for all who was under the hats. 
Surprising, I know. Our last fact for you today, ladies and gentlemen, is a hard to find but very obvious once known kind of thing. Put simply, Waluigi is Mario's uncle. You can tell because they both have the same nose. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you think these things deserve more views, then remember there's a share button for just such a purpose. Subscribe for more facts in the future, and don't forget, these are only the rock facts. Jeez Louise, what is my life? <laughs>